the Earth. A small blue planet with a single moon, circling a golden sun. The surface of this planet, our planet, consists of oceans and land. Look at the familiar shapes of the continents. The Americas, Europe, Africa. Below us, the Arabian Peninsula and the Emirate of Sharjah. A wondrous place with a rich and vibrant geological history. The majestic desert of Sharjah reveals diverse geological treasures. The Hajar Mountains, gravel plains, jebels, and those ever-changing sand dunes. You are now at Jebel Buhis, a geological wonder in the Sharjah Desert. This hill contains extraordinary rock formations and rare fossils of long extinct marine organisms. But even more than that, the Jebel and its surroundings reveal invaluable clues to Earth in the making. The hills and mountains of Sharjah are among the few locations on the planet where you can see rocks, normally hidden from view, that originate deep inside the Earth. What you might not realize is that the shapes of the coastlines and continents we know so well didn't always look that way. Powerful geological forces, combined with changes in climate and sea levels, gradually shaped the Earth's landscape. Let's travel back 240 million years. This is the land called Pangaea, a supercontinent. We are about to witness how a supercontinent is formed. The Earth's shell is made of tectonic plates that move very slowly but constantly. The land we know as continents is carried on larger plates. When two plates converge, one plate is forced under the other plate and recycled back into Earth's mantle. The process, called subduction, causes oceans to close and continents, like those that formed Pangaea, to merge. Where plates diverge, magma rises from the Earth's mantle, filling in the deep fractures between them and erupting as lava from the tops of volcanoes, causing oceans to widen and supercontinents to slowly split apart. Then the same powerful tectonic forces continue to pull apart an already broken supercontinent even more. The result is smaller individual continents like the ones we know today with oceans in between them. Now we'll make a leap to 93 million years ago. A very rare phenomenon is about to take place at a subduction zone near present-day Sharjah. The Afro-Arabian plate is being forced under the oceanic plate to the east. But when the Arabian continent reaches the subduction zone, it is too light to be subducted into the mantle. Subduction stalls. Instead, during the next few millions of years, part of the hot, young oceanic plate is forced over the edge of the Arabian continent. Rocks once hidden deep inside the Earth are now revealed on the surface of what is today the Emirate of Sharjah. Those rocks made of oceanic crust and the Earth's upper mantle are called ophiolite.
There it is, the Ophiolite. Those rocky islands with their heads above sea level. Weathering and erosion break the surface of the Ophiolite into boulders and pebbles. along with sand and mud deposit on a coast that is now the site of Jebel Hicks. Take a last look, because the islands are about to go under again. The sea is already rising. As the coast submerges, the boulders and pebbles are buried under a new layer of mud and are cemented together to create a layer of rock we call conglomerate. Rich, tropical marine life thrives in the shallow sea. Bivalves, gastropods, Buddhists. From 74 to 66 million years ago, a layer of lime mud deposits in the shallow sea. When the creatures die, their shells sink to the bottom. Their remains and mud cement into sedimentary rock. Limestone. And there, disaster strikes. Sixty-five point five million years ago, a meteorite hits the Earth causing shockwaves, tsunamis, wildfires, and years of darkened skies. 75% of all life becomes extinct. But life is resilient. A few million years later, new marine creatures evolve and limestone continues to deposit. All the while, the tectonic plates keep moving. Millions of years later, the same powerful earth-shaping forces are still pushing the Arabian plate toward what is now Southwest Asia squeezing the rock layers together and folding them into a long chain of hills. Sharjah's Jebels. Erosion sculpts the Jebels into their present form. Wind and water continue to erode the hills, showing us the inside of Jebel Buhais. The dark Ophiolite, the red conglomerate with its embedded boulders and pebbles, the yellow-orange limestone filled with fossils. Here, in this place of global significance in the Emirate of Sharjah, witness for yourself an extraordinary and mesmerizing window into 100 million years of geological history. Welcome to Buhais Geology Park. Mm -hmm.